We have lost it. I'm officially the worst car spotter ever. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supercars of London. And I suppose this is the day after the reveal announcement of my second supercar. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I say normally, if I say that I hope you've enjoyed the video, it's eight o'clock in the morning today. So the video has not even been edited. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I didn't really know how to announce it because over on Twitter and Instagram, I'd obviously visited Southern Sky Motors a couple of times. Um, and the car just was perfect from the first time that I saw it. Um, the Bicolori is a really cool car. I did say in the video that it's not the coolest special edition, and I will stick by that because I do think that Lamborghini have gone out of their way and made better special editions, but they're just so so difficult to get hold of. Um, but I do think that the Bicolori is gonna sit perfectly on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. Today is the final day with the BMW X5 from Driven Leasing. So, Driven, I picked this car up two weeks ago, if you're new to the channel, I picked this car up two weeks ago as a bit of a test to try and find what I want as a daily car. What sort of car I want, and I'd never driven an SUV, a big 4x4, and never driven it into London, and to begin with, didn't particularly like it, but over time, Driven Leasing were telling me that this is a cruiser car, this is not what you're used to driving. And I've come to terms with that fact. And it's a really, really cool and nice place to be, comfortable. It is just exactly what they say, it's a cruiser with fantastic fuel economy. Monday morning surprise, F12 with an insane spoiler. Look how big it is. There's my hand. One. Two, two and a half. It is huge. <laughs> First time I've driven a manual since the uh, X5, and I tried putting it in first and moving, honestly, without dipping the clutch. And now I'm gonna have to try and maneuver around the Ferrari. As you may have noticed by that last video clip, that both cars, the BMW X5 and Fiat 500, are at SB today. The Fiat goes in for a service, so it needs to be at SB, um, and that means me doing the com work commute run twice. So I'm now headed back to SB. I kind of want to try and get that Ferrari a little bit more on camera with the massive spoiler. I think it's just a normal 512M with a spoiler. Maybe you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. This is my current situation at the desk and as you can hear and see this is the current situation outside the weather has been coming down or the rain has been coming down for the last sort of hour or so pretty badly and what I have been doing I've been emailing my phone's just been going off just been speaking to Sam because I have just edited the Lamborghini video that you watched yesterday. I'm so nervous about it and like even just watching back I knew how nervous I was saying to the camera for the first time that this is going to be my second supercar but to just edit it and then realize that it's going on YouTube it's nerve-wracking, nerve-wracking and probably what I didn't mention in the video is I just want to thank every single one of you guys that watches, watches my videos because without you Supercars of London wouldn't exist um, and I mean, it's, it's mind-blowing. It is overwhelmingly mind-blowing. And I don't even know whether they're words, but at the moment, I am making up words. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The final drive in the BMW X5, which I thoroughly enjoyed, and I still don't know too much about it. I did, however, connect my phone once up to the Bluetooth so I could play music out of it. I don't normally do that in the car, um, but I haven't really explored too much of the the technologies that are involved in this car I mean it's got the start stop it's got the sort of surround sound lane assist thing which is here um, that basically bleeps at you when there's someone in front of you and you're and it's calculated that you're going too fast for how close you are to the car so that's quite good and it's obviously got all of the, the normal stuff that's down here and I feel like I'm probably doing a, 
bit of a little bit too late review on the BMW X5, but it's been a lot of fun. And if I'm completely honest, to begin with, after the first day, I was like, mm, I don't particularly understand why this car's so big. I don't understand what the purpose of it is. And over time, I've grown to love this car as a cruiser. I, it's it's a lot of fun to just drive around like I said earlier in this vlog with the auto gearbox you really just need one hand on the steering wheel and one foot on the pedals which makes it just a lot easier to use than manual cars ladies and gentlemen I have just seen the Bentley 4x4 thing I'm hunting it down I was going one way I need to get this on camera. The new Bentley 4x4, I've just seen. I'm almost certain it came down here. It must go into the fuel. It can't go into the service station. I'm gonna, oh, I don't know where to go. Oh, this is nuts. If I can catch this on camera, there's an exclusive right there. Right, I'm gonna go and check the services. This is risky. And then I'm going to check fuel. I need to check the fuel really quick. I, oh my god, if I don't get this on camera, this is going to really annoy me. Where is it? Oh my god. I'm going this way. I don't think it's come in here. I think it's gone straight to the fuel. Come on, be in the fuel station. I hope I don't get told to delete any pictures. Where is it? <laughs> if it's not here, where the hell has it gone? What? It's disappeared. The only other way that it can go is up here. I don't know what's up here, but I'm going up here. Oh my god. This is so annoying. I'm now gonna be very late to drop that back this BMW, but I don't care. Oh my god, I'm not gonna find it now down this road. This is so frustrating. Oh my god. No, I'm not gonna find it now. Oh did it. I don't even know where this road goes. I saw the Bentley 4x4, I did a U-turn, and I've lost it. Do I go back to the service station? I'm gonna go back to the service station, do a full lap, because no way is it down here. Right. Oh, this is grinding on me. Why would it come into a service station it's not supposed to be out yet, so why would it park up? But I'm just trying everything. My heart is racing, trying to find this car that has just disappeared on a roundabout, the smallest roundabout. If you know the Beaconsfield Service Centre, you will know that a car cannot disappear. I'm gonna have to go on Google Maps and find out where that road leads to. Oh my God, I'm so annoyed. Here we go, we've arrived at Driven Leasing and I need to look for a Mini. Come on, open up. I can't see a Mini in there. Oh, this isn't good. So we're down at the Driven Leasing offices and we just had a call to say that the Mini's arrived. We've been here about 45 minutes, but the Mini has not arrived yet. But it's going to be, um, well, coming soon. So this is the last time that you're gonna see the BMW X5 and the first time that you're going to see the Mini and I'll tell you all about the spec and stuff when it comes because I still have no idea. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the new Daily Wagon. It's a five door. I didn't even know this thing existed. I'm not sure what to make of it from the side but from the front it actually looks quite cool. I've never driven a Mini before so I've got my um, camera set up there <laughs> ready to cover the first sort of few miles in this car. And what is it? A Cooper SD. Do you know what? From the back it looks quite cool as well. This is the key. Don't know whether you can see that just yet. But anyway, 
Let's jump in it, see what goes on inside. Right. So it's an auto gearbox, lovely. And it's got start there. Right, let's, let's try and work this out. Firstly, I'm gonna move the seat back a little bit. Get myself accustomed, look at all these buttons here. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Now what do you do, do you put your foot on the brake and that lights up? The yes, that's cool, I like that. And there's the camera set up, so let's get that set up. Oh, that's quite nice as well. Whoa, this is cool. <laughs> I quite like this actually. Right. Reverse. Handbrake off. Oh, this is different. That is for sure, this is different to the BMW. I've got no... Oh, I've got a heads up display. There's no cameras around like the BMW X5. I can't help but laugh driving this car. This is bizarre. I don't know how I can jump from an X5 to this. It's got paddles. It's got paddles. I wonder whether I'm going to use them like I've used this car. It hasn't got much fuel in it. This is so bizarre. I've gone from having so much space to being so cramped. I'll tell you what, I quite like the uh, interior of this car, really quite cool. I'm just going to cruise now. Do I put my foot down? Yeah, let's put my foot down and see what punch it's got. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be that quick actually. It's quite punchy. Just. I suppose it officially or unofficially announced, ladies and gentlemen, that I have bought this Lamborghini from Southern Sky Motor Cars. They have been absolutely...